Maria. I'm Anya, and I'm here to lay something spiritual, Anya. And I am out of breath because I've been dancing in front of my camera this entire time. Whew! So in this video, I'm going to talk to you about some different ways that you can celebrate in bulk this year. As I stated in my video on the mythology surrounding in bulk, in addition to celebrating the natural cycles of nature and the rebirth of Earth itself at this time, this holiday also celebrates the goddess Bridget. In ancient times, many people would prepare to welcome the goddess into their own homes to bless them for the upcoming year of fertility. Bonfires might be burned at this time, but equally so would lamps, torches, or candles, as Bridget was a goddess of fire and the hearth. Plus, this lighting of fires was a way to honor the growing strength of the sun, which would continue to awaken the life on Earth. Just to throw in some extra knowledge and disclaimers, there are a number of ways to spell the goddess Bridget's name, and also a number of ways to pronounce it. I am going with this spelling, as it is the most, the one that I've seen most commonly, and I'm going with the pronunciation of Bridget, as it's the one I've heard the most. So, what are some ways that you can celebrate in bulk this year? Meditate and redecorate your altar. Yes, I say this every video on festivals and holidays throughout the Wheel of the Year because it's a great thing to do at any holiday and any day, as a matter of fact. So meditate on what this time of the year means, not just to the natural world and how that relates to you and yourself, but also think about what it would have meant to your ancestors who still at this time wouldn't have had all the modern day conveniences and perks that we have to get through these long months of winter. Remember this time of year is the slow awakening after a long slumber, the recognition of life coming back, and relate that back to you. How are you awakening? What is awakening within you? What will you bring into your life? What seeds are you planting now? These are great things to reflect on this time of year. And in terms of decorating your altar, at this time of year, light colors are probably the best. Things like whites and yellows and greens. These can signify things like the snow starting to melt, but also the colors of some of the flowers we might start seeing popping out of the snow at this time of the year as well. It's also for the rising strength of the sun and also the colors of the green that is going to be slowly coming back into the world. An invitation of this is what we want to see more of. As this is a time to celebrate the returning light and the sun growing stronger, the fire growing stronger, and also the fire goddess Bridget, Candles on your altar is a great thing to have, but always, 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 always be safe. And on that note, another big thing you can do on this day, whether you have an altar or not, is burn candles. Yes, burn candles even if you don't have an altar, or if you can burn something else, say some wood in a wood-burning stove, or even in a fireplace. Again, we're talking about the returning light to the world, celebrating it, honoring it, and wanting to invite more of it in, similar to how we did the Yule Log in the Winter Solstice. So light a candle and watch the flame as it dances and moves and reflect on the goddess at this time, the, the goddess who is returning life to the world, or reflect on Bridget and, and her own fire and Honor her as a goddess that can help you overcome the challenges in your life, can help you reforge yourself into the you that you want to be in this new year. Read or write poetry. Again, this time of the year honors the goddess Bridget, who, while being a goddess of fire, healing, and fertility, was also a goddess of creativity, being the goddess of poetry. Honor her in her goddess form or saint form by creating your own words in the form of poetry. And if you don't feel like you're a writer of poetry, if you don't feel like a poet of in and of yourself, then take some time to read poetry. Find words that inspire you and help you connect to this time of year. Spend time in nature. In bulk is also known as the quickening of the earth, where we're seeing the small signs of life starting to appear before they really come into bloom in the spring and at Beltane. So take this time to go outside and see what the natural world looks like to you now. Where are you seeing snow? Where are you not seeing snow? Are you seeing some signs of life coming back? I love walking around and feeling the bite and the chill in the air, but also seeing the signs of buds on trees and realizing 
things are changing. It is a good reminder that we are moving forward. And then it allows me to question, okay, well, what am I doing to move forward? How am I taking the time to match the cycles of nature so that I'm continuously growing and improving myself this year? So take that time to connect to nature. That's one of the biggest things that paganism is about connecting with the natural world and remembering that you are part of it too. Make a Bridget's doll or a Bridget's cross. I've not done this before myself, but it's something I see a lot of people doing at this time of year. Crosses are usually made with husks or reeds, while dolls can be made in different ways. I've seen some dolls that seem to be made of husks, but others that are actual sewn dolls with cloth and fabrics and things like that. And they're sometimes also known as a bridey doll. And what do you do with them after you make them? There are some things that may be able to be put on your altar. They might be things that you put outside as an offering. Make sure they are biodegradable if you do something like that. Or perhaps you use them in a sense of doing some sort of work with your deities. There are different ways to utilize these creations, but it's also the point that you are dedicating your time to making something in honor of a deity in honor of this time of year as well bake something that's very vague and and generic i know but i know i personally try to bake something at each of these holidays on the wheel of the year when i can i do say try for a reason because life sometimes happens but the point is trying baking something and i also encourage people bake something and put some of it outside as an offering this is something i also try to do at all the sabbaths when i can to make sure that i am putting my energy and effort into making something into using my hands and creating something with my own energy with my own skills and dedicating the time to it and making sure that i put some of it outside that can be taken as an offering by nature itself that means also making sure that whatever I put outside is something that is not going to be harmful to the, the natural world that comes to eat it. So baking something is always a good way to celebrate and honor the festivals on the wheel of the year. Prepare something for Bridget to bless. If you're baking something and making an offering of it, you might also have something that you want Bridget to bless. In ancient times, people may have set out a place for her to rest and sleep and items for her to bless within their homes. So think about what items you might want Bridget to bless for you this year and ask her for her blessing and tell her why. If you're able, you might wanna leave the items outside for her blessing, or if not, then leave it by a window. As I said, just have a nice little wee conversation, say out loud what you have are having her bless and why you want her to bless it. This I think helps establish a connection to the goddess and it also helps to remind you of why this thing you want to be blessed is important to you. Finally, another great thing to do at this time of year is plant seeds. Seeds are also something you can decorate your altar with because again, we're talking about the potential of life coming back into the world. And seeds are very symbolic of the potential of all that life can be. But seeds are also just great things to plant at this time as well. We're still early enough that they can do their wee hibernation and wee growing beneath the soils. So maybe finding some plants that you want to put into your garden or into the natural world wherever you can might be a good thing to do at this time. And let's be honest, I think this planet would love to have some more plants growing on it. So plant some seeds, see what takes off. And yes, I'm talking about physical seeds of plants and flowers and things like that. But I'm also talking about figuring out what seeds you want to plant in terms of your goals if you haven't started doing that already. Thinking about what things you can achieve in the span of the year, Plant them now, get started, and see where they take off when you continue tending to them. These are just a few ways you can celebrate in bulk this year, and I hope you can find some ways to celebrate the returning life back to the planet. We're gonna start seeing things getting warmer, and we're gonna see things start progressing as the year continues on, and I hope you're all excited for that too. Anyway, thank you for watching. I will catch you all in the next video. Thanks guys. On you out. Bye!